Are you building the next TikTok? Probably not yet. Maybe Facebook? Potentially, right? There's a lot of tools available right now that you can use and pretty much grow your community. So that's one approach. Second approach is you creating a community where you have control and you pretty much set the rules, right? You can decide what is good or what's bad. At the end of the day, good or bad, uh, there's different perspectives and that's a completely different video. But with everything that's going on, at least in the US, if you're watching from another country, uh, you probably know that they're trying to ban TikTok. And again, who knows what's true, what's not. I don't get, you know, going to politics and stuff. But knowing that it can take years for you to build a community and one day just, you know, it goes away or you say or do something on one of these platforms and then you get banned, then what you do, right? So for you to build a community and one day you just disappear, uh, for them to find you again could take time. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you why you can do with the Wix groups, which is something that a lot of people are not utilizing. Even myself, I haven't used it for a while. And today I wanna show you all the opportunities and things that you can do to grow your community if you already have one. If not, it's a good opportunity to utilize it, to share things that are valuable for your users or your clients. And this is also a place for you to, uh, you know, set rules, see what's possible. And you can also monetize if that's something you want to do. So it's going to be very simple, easy video. And I hope you take this uh, tutorial and then take it a little further, right? So let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our editor. So you're going to go into your editor and uh, assuming you already know how to use the Wix editor, uh, then this is going to be very simple. If you're new, this is the first time you've seen this video and you need to start from the beginning, just go into some of my um, folders where it's like Wix for beginners, where I show you how to do everything, install a template and all that. But again, this is more for somebody that has a little bit more knowledge. It's also not very complex, so it should be very easy. So we're gonna go into the app section and then you can find it here. The way, uh, again, it's gonna be easier to do is by you going into the actual plus button right here and then you wanna go where it says community. And within the community, you wanna go where it says groups. So you can just already add it from here and it's gonna be very easy. So once you add groups, there's a few different things that you can do. People can post things, you can share things. Uh, and then depending on what levels you create, you can also have people create their own groups within your website, which is I think something really cool. So once you add it, it takes a few seconds, but pretty much this is gonna load and then you'll see what it's gonna look like. And you can customize it as much as you need, uh, set the rules, um, create levels again of membership where people can like pay to create their own groups or you can set it to only admins. So again, you can do different things. It's really cool. So I'm gonna add it right here. As you can see, it already has a really nice design. So. There's not much that you need to do other than set up specific rules, maybe change colors, things like that. So when you click on it and then you go onto the settings, right? And then you go to layout, you can also change what the layout it's gonna look like. If you wanna use a thumbnail, if you wanna use a different size, you can also do a different displays. Uh, display, sorry, for discussions, you can also have reactions, member count, share uh, buttons, show member budgets, things like that. It's almost like a social media platform that's already built into Wix. 
And then here you can also have the box instead of saying share something, you can do like add a quote, uh, what do you think? Whatever you wanna do, you can customize it as much as you can. And you have again, different um, options to customize all these little sections right here. So this is the front end and then we're gonna publish this. And now once we publish this, we're gonna go in the back. So that way you can have a little bit more control of like permissions and things like that. So we're gonna go into refreshing the page because we just added and because we didn't have it before, it's not gonna show. So let's wait here as this loads. Okay, so there it is. <clears throat> Okay, so now you have groups right here. And this part again, you'll see you already have one specific group. You can create multiple ones. So either you can create one for clients, you can create one for uh, VIP people, you can create another one just for fun. So depending if you do like coaching, if you do like uh, anything like law or you're a lawyer or you sell a service you can do different things but again this is really cool because you can create different things so if we go to the more settings right here you can go on the uh, all general settings and then you can decide who can create groups right so you can do either all site members or you can do site members with approval or only admins and if you do admins, then you have to give permissions to people. So again, you can decide how you want it to work. If you do all site members, anybody can do it. And then uh, the weekly digest. Uh, so do you want to send emails about the group activities once a week? Yes, of course, because you want to keep them engaged. And then if you like everything, you just click save. And then if we go here, you can also manage the specific group that you already have. So if you wanna change this picture, wanna customize it for something else, you can also update this and then find something a little bit more fun. So let's do entrepreneurs uh, and then we can do something like this. Looks epic, right? So we have there. Then you can have the name of the group uh, and then you can have a small message. You can also add, you know, a code, a button. You can also add like a store. So if you want to start selling products within the groups or show specific things or you want people to be able to book something through your system or you want to also connect them through other platforms, then you can also do that. And then <clears throat> you can also set it to be public or private. So again, you have three different levels. If you make it public, anybody that comes to the website can join the group and start posting and doing things. If you set it to private, so it's only the members of the group that you approve. And then you can also do only paying members. So here is where you can select a plan and then they can pay for it. So this can also be used for masterminds and you can do a lot of different things to share content. Uh, and then here you can do like, name them members, students, coworkers, or you can just name your thing like followers or uh, clients, whatever you wanna, or cases, whatever you wanna name it, right? So usually I just keep it as generic members and then click save and we're gonna go into the actual site. So we're gonna refresh this and then we're gonna go here more and there's groups right here. So I'm just gonna create a pretty much a fake account really quick. So I can do here and <clears throat> once I get there, I can just click join and then I can do an account. So for example, I can do um, Bruno uh, gmail.com. By the way, Bruno is my uh, favorite kid. It's my little doggy, so sweet. And then sign up. 
And once you do that, then you have access to the page, right? So I can share something like if I go here and I'm like feeling exciting and then I can just add a picture and then boom, right there. And then it just takes a few seconds. Now it takes a little more in this computer because it's not very um, fast, but in your computer might take, you know, a few more seconds if it's not very good or pretty much faster if it's better. So you have right there, um, you know, your post, you can also add a video, you can also share media files. Uh, so you can do different things, pretty much treat it like a social platform where you have control and then you can have more interactions with your users. And again, this can be a place where everybody can find you anytime your other boat sinks, right? We don't want to say that, but uh, anytime, you, you know, something happens with something that you don't have control, you know where people can always find you and then you can share where they where you're going to be next. So hopefully this video is something that you like, gets you exciting. And if you already have a group, let me know. I, I'll join. Uh, just make sure you tag me in the comments and see you on the next one.